Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. My neighbor's band is playing outside and my window's open, so you may hear some music coming through, but they're really good. So we've got some background music going on for your messages today. This is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Pisces. These are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Try not to build a story. If it's not resonating for you, most likely the message is not for you. Check with your other placements or any of the other zodiac that may stand out for you. All right, Pisces, we're going to go right into the messages for you. What are the messages for Pisces? First card out, we have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Definitely. We, people come into our life. We meet people. We're born into families. Everything happens for a reason. And we definitely are here to learn, grow, understand our life's mission, our life's path, what it is that we're meant to clear away. Um, who we truly are. Oh, there's so many lessons here on Earth School, and it's beautiful when we can learn them through our friendships with others. All right, we have loneliness. I know that I'm never alone, but Pisces, for some reason, you're feeling lonely or isolated. Let's see why. Loneliness came out in the last two readings, too. I think that that is kind of a theme for after this new moon in Virgo, uh, which was, I think, our last super moon of the year. Very powerful energy, very emotional, and um, definitely um, the ignition for great change. But we can certainly use any of the less than pleasing experiences or emotions, especially when they come from others, to be our battery, our charge for great change for ourselves. To let it empower us, even the loneliness. Let that be your battery to charge you up and make something change in your life. We have relationships at the bottom here, and we have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life, and I feel like, Pisces, that is sort of where you're going. It could be uh, your strategy in um, not falling too deep into um, some of the less than pleasing um, emotions that we can dip into uh on this journey um but rising out of any sense of loneliness or isolation to really focus on the lighter side of what's going on what am i learning here what am i understanding it's all about self-understanding self-awareness i'm attracted i am attracted to those people who serve my highest good so let's uh dive deeper into this for you pisces Oh, we're going to switch decks for you. Okay. I appreciate that. All right. What else do we have for Pisces? Let's talk about friendship here for Pisces, please. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. When we have relationships, especially friends, we attract those into our life that definitely have um, a like a quality. Like attracts like. Um, so that we mirror each other. So it's always your relationships to others reflect your relationship to yourself. Let's talk about friendship for Pisces, please. Okay. Ace of Voices. So there is some awareness, um, some higher wisdom with the owl. Um, 
some insight that you were gaining on your journey and you're gaining that through a friendship one of your friends or a friendship with someone this could be somebody who um reflects to you the colorful sides of you the magical aspects of you why is loneliness here for pisces of material <clears throat> so Pisces you definitely have somebody that is of great influence to you in your life but instead of looking up to them and putting them on a pedestal you are truly seeing um, yourself through them and your colorful mystical magical wise old soul however when you start to flip flop, when you start to go into your other energy of it could be self, um, self pity, self denial. Um, it's almost like you're on, you've got one foot on one side of the fence and another foot on the other side of the fence. And so when you start to dip, you're juggling between old self, new self, self-hatred, self-love. When you, when you're doing this, you find yourself isolated, alone, even though you know you're never alone. It's like a balancing act and it's like, you know, you know you want to shine and show your colors as it reflects through a friendship, but on the same token, there's some sadness, there's some loss, there's something that you're still working through. Overall, we have news of emotions under relationships here. So definitely getting a lot of uh, self-awareness. This is a lot of emotions. Knight of emotions, seven of emotions, two of voices. Okay, so spirit is really tapping in here to... Um, <laughs> you ride really high in a beautiful dance of sharing your love and how you feel and then you kind of go into this unknown territory of I'm not really sure I feel like you've got too many conflicting either beliefs or <laughs> beliefs beliefs or maybe possible choices you've made in the past uh, when it comes to um, relating to others um, not really sure how I feel. This is something, this is an aspect within yourself. You can kind of tend to go a little into the darker side and spirit is really saying, Pisces, snap out of it. Choose to see the lighter side of this. Get your sense of humor. Where's your sense of humor? Because you, you really are undecided mentally. You, this is split energy. This is telling me that you have, there's an aspect within you that is unhealed. There's a split aspect of you this is of uh, deep inner child wounds fragmented fractured a part of your inner child that is afraid afraid of fully blossoming afraid of getting hurt and it's it's pulling you to get your attention it needs to be brought on board so you have all of your parts as one whole um until then, you constantly are going to be flip-flopping from one side to the other, from one side to the other. And, and spirits like, get your sense of humor, lighten up Pisces, and bring it front and center, front and center. Muse of emotions. There's definitely a two of emotions. There's definitely a lot of love there when with, with this connection to someone else. And they definitely are an inspiration to you and showing you all of the colors and facets of your emotional body, which is also linked to your psychic senses, which is also linking, linked to your spirituality. I feel like you're a bit um, tough on yourself, Pisces. You might be a little too 
strict when it comes to um, just let it going with the flow. Even though you are a water sign, there's a lot of water. Queen of emotions below that. Muse of emotions, queen of emotions. But then we have the tower. So there's some realization, five of emotions, of the other side of yourself, which is a little more cold, a little more dark, a little more, that needs to be looked at for sure. Um, it's, it's calling to you for a reason. It's saying, I, you're, you're disregarding me. I need you to, um, bring me to the surface for healing. Self-analysis, self-awareness of all the different facets and parts of yourself. Okay. 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 Oops. But definitely, you know that there's some shared love there. There's a connection there. There's no need to feel alone. You just be, you bring yourself into this. This is self-isolating. This, this loneliness. This is in the mind. This is also a fragmented part of you that really wants to get your attention, Pisces, and say, hey, this could be linked to depression. Definitely can be linked to depression. And it's good that you have this person in your life that is so open and clear and colorful to be that muse that that is just sharing all of them, all of themselves. This is who I am. And I'm not always uh, not always happy either, but I'm not I'm going to express myself. I'm not going to be hard on myself. I feel like you're really hard on yourself, Pisces. And when you're hard on yourself, you go into a little bit of a hermit, which is that self-isolating. It's like you're in and out of this energy. And uh, spirit really wants to show you to get on board with your sense of humor and to really start to focus on the lighter side of life. It's not all dark and scary. Restriction. This is all in the mind. This is self-limiting beliefs that are still operating within you that are restricting you in fully flow, like fully acknowledging your deep tribal ancestral wisdom and, and your, your full expression of yourself. You restrict that. You were too strict on, I was feeling that you're too strict on yourself. You may have too strict of like regimes and your diet and I've got to be this way. And it's a, this was taught to you through some paradigm, through you're trying to be too much of something that is not you instead of just like going with the flow. What feels good? What feels good? The tower, angel of enlightenment. So you're flip-flopping back and forth. You could really be um, doing what you think is the right thing for yourself. And instead, you're restricting yourself. You're restricting yourself so you actually don't fully feel. You're not really letting your... You're not letting your freak flag fly. Maybe you're not letting yourself have ice cream at night. Or you're not letting your, like, it's, no, that's against the spiritual rules. Or something like that. It's like, no, Pisces, enjoy everything that you can in moderation on this planet. Enlightenment. Aha. Okay. Ooh. Okay, you are determined to get out of this this prison of the mind, though, which is beautiful. I, I, I see that you're determined to work on this split energy and no longer be um, pulled back into a, 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 an energy within yourself that just boxes you in and restricts you so much. Um, we have theft, seven of swords, so definitely... I feel like you're you're tough on yourself. We have the devil below that because you definitely have gone through the ringer. You probably have some trust issues. Um, theft, seven of swords, is almost like someone stole 
a part of your freedom, your liberation in your mind. And in order for you to control, like not having um, something like that be done or someone to like take over um, and, and play you like a puppet or take over your life, you decided I'm going to be very strict on what it is that who I put myself around and what it is I put in my body and what it is that I do. And I'm going to just be this very strict, but you're actually restricting yourself. You're restricting yourself from actually having really a, um, a deep and close and loving partnership with someone. The star angel of hope below that. So let's get you some advice. One last message for Pisces. And if you are liking this video, please be sure to click that like button below the video. Appreciate that. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And feel free to leave comments. I'd love to read all of your comments. And if you or someone you know are looking for a personal reading with me, you can book the, that through my website, which is be the change 333 dot com and that information is also in the description box below this video final message for pisces please This is the same one as Virgo got. Lotus blue butterfly, transformation, becoming, lightness, beauty. You wanna be light on yourself. Fly like the butterfly, Pisces. You're going through a transformation. It's important to see the beauty within yourself, all the beautiful colors and facets of yourself. Stop restricting yourself. I know it's probably with good intention, but you're if you're not if you're not happy, if you're not feeling good, then do something that makes you shine and and dance. Turn some music on. Put enjoy life. Enjoy life. All right. Let's get this message out to you, Pisces. When Butterfly dances into your world, she comes with gifts of light and beauty amidst the transformation of becoming all that you truly came here to be. Every journey has phases. There are times when new ideas and parts of us are first born as seeds of the possible in our world. There are times when you begin your movement towards those visions, building the foundation of daily practice, discipline, and focused intent. There are times when you must draw inward in reflection, growth, and self-care. And there are times when you must use everything you have to break free from past limitations and expand your way of being. To open your wings fully, and in this life experience, yourself, flying. Sometimes we can get stuck trying to solve life's challenges with old ways of thinking when what is really being called for is a whole new way of being. Butterfly comes as a powerful reminder for you to be where you are on the journey, but stay open to the greater aspects of your being that are ready to come through. Whatever challenges you may face along the way are part of your transformation. Take the lesson as a gift and move on, knowing that you are building the key strengths and qualities that will be needed for who you are becoming. Each step is sacred and your soul is moving ever in the direction of spreading its wings. If burdens feel too much to carry, remember that butterfly moves between worlds with her lightness of being, spontaneous and free. Awaken your connection to the simple pleasures and joys of life. Smell the flowers. Stand in the morning dew. Welcome the sunrise with a smile. Dance in the lightness of life. Didn't I just tell you to dance? Turn on some music, Pisces. Dance. Enjoy life. Have that ice cream. Everything in moderation. 
it's so many sensory experiences to be had here. This is why we incarnated in these physical bodies to live. So that is your message, Pisces, for this week. I hope that you found this helpful for you. And I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.